Poggers isn't really much help at all. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody went for a little swim. This is incredible. Nothing like herding a cappy. Queen loves this little fella. Two old friends <laughs> getting. Whoa, is that bigger to an ounce or ten? It's a beautiful sight. Oh, that's foul. Sure wish I had a mask so I wouldn't get haunted by <laughs> Hello, Gort. What are you doing out here by yourself, Gort? Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and rip this couch out because it's irreparable. There's probably no way I can sell this, and I'm definitely not gonna be able to shill it off on you guys because you guys know the condition of it. Mm, I can use this whole room for songbirds. I'm not living in here. I'm not doing it. Funny thing about these old trailers, guys, that they're real easy to take apart. I'm doing the, I'm doing the thug shaker. I'm doing the rump shaker right now. This is the thug shaker. See, look at this, guys. It's not that hard to rip a couch out of a trailer. <laughs> it's not like I paid $8,000 for this thing or anything. Mmm, <laughs> take a look at this, guys. Look at all this nice poop. Sure wish I had a mask so I wouldn't get haunted by it. <laughs> Uh oh, a little bit of poopies here. <laughs> Might as well call me Chip Gaines. <laughs> We're going to uh, knock down this wall here. We're going to make this whole place a kitchen. <laughs> sure hope this doesn't damage the structural integrity of this trailer. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have a visual barrier here. So some animals can feel a little bit more comfy. All right, everybody, this is what I've done so far. As you can see, we ripped out the kitchen table. I took out the beds here, and we can actually use this as an enclosure or for brooder. Oh, that's foul. Thanks, Tommy. As you guys can see, uh, this is me doing all the work by myself. This is my hand, uh, as you can see, by myself doing all the work. Okay, while I'm doing that over there, I'm going to go ahead and also clean out this little stuff. Our buddy Johnny that was living in this trailer, if you guys remember from the old lore, Johnny used to live in this trailer, and he left me a little present he left me a lot of uh, old things in here and whenever we turned the trailer off all the things were still in here and i still haven't cleaned out all these maggots oh a little bit of mold i also had all this santa stuff in here when tommy stayed here and he didn't say anything about it at all almost as if he thought that i had it here unironically and as you guys can see i decided to remove the whole bed frame because we don't need it we don't need a bed in here all right everybody this is all the trash that i made i'll find a way to make this look okay with these little outlets here and here we can plug in heat pads or incubators or whatever else we need to run here we also have a thermostat with hvac in here we can keep all the supplies in these little cabinet drawers here we have so many of them right here here and here we also have a fridge here for milk replacer mealworms and all the other little things and a freezer right here and for larger animals we have this little shower here but this is a good start and it's everything we need to get a past inspection from the game wardens look how big these dang boys are now well well the cappy's escaped again boy get on back to your side get out of here come on go come on get on back there boy get on back there boy get on back there boy well well we got an escape artist he's trying to go to the new pond before i'm letting up also look at her little nest you guys she made it bigger sylvester get back there nothing like herding a cat Oh, I can't wait till this boy can free reign. Come on, son, get in there. Gotcha. <laughs> Look at these dinguses trying to get through here. Sheep moment. Oh, Donda. Also, guys, look how big Kanye is now. He looked just like he did. Get out of here. Get out of here, PewDiePie. Look at that boy sucking on he mama udder. That sure is a beautiful sight to see. Sure wouldn't mind being that adorable little fella. Also, guys, I am going to be taking his tail off. You'll see. It's gonna, I'm going to cut it with my teeth. Everyone says, oh, Uncle Ben, you need to remove the tail. Uh, yeah, guys. I think I'm going to wait on that and do it with my teeth. <laughs> look how these boys are trying to just push through here guys see gort's trying to just push the gate open what a little miracle this creature is well 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 everybody it looks like the day is finally come this little mama hatched oh my goodness so many chicks there's literally like 15 of them this is incredible man these little guys must have actually just hatched look at that and this is where her nest was guys remember there's still so many eggs in here look at all the ones that didn't hatch good heavens okay so these are all the ones that didn't hatch this one got close poor little guy Guy. But look at this, guys. These chickens were hatched naturally on my property. All chickens that people gave me. I like to keep a rooster because he keeps them protected. Uncle Ben, why are you breeding chickens? I didn't even know until a week ago that she had laid these eggs. Whoa, was that bigger to an ounce or ten? But look at this, guys. Look at all these adorable little creatures. I'm gonna go ahead and put some water out here for these little chicks and some chick starter for them. But wow, look at how big the baby's tail is, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful creature. I sure do love this little man. Okay, we got a 
a lot of work to keep doing, you guys. Look at these boys coming right up to their feet. There's so many miracles occurring on this farm. Okay, guys, it's that day of the week, which means it's time for me to take a nap with Biggerton. I am considering, for at least this summer, letting these guys run around and live in the barn. That way they would have free range of the whole property. I would do the same thing with Cringe and Mrs. Owl, and they'd have all the space in the world to run away from each other and have fun, and they would not fight. I have some friends that free range their prairie dogs, and they actually have a lot of success doing that. And we don't really have a lot of aerial predators at all, especially if they can go into the barn whenever they want. And I know they love of the cappies so they could probably just live in there with them and drink from the pond let me know what you guys think is that a good idea or a bad idea it sure would be nice to see bigger 10 ounce or 10 running around the property all right everybody we no longer have a fish tank in here now big ounce is going into little patrick's enclosure but i'm actually weaning patrick right now i'm putting him on all of his favorite food we got normal different types of grass from the yard we have goat's feed for young goats it's actually a really good mixture and then we have kangaroo feed which i hear is really good for them they enjoy that and right now i'm cleaning the whole porch so it doesn't look nasty come on guys come on inside but as you guys can see we now have all the materials we need to start rehabbing songbirds and small mammals with just this stuff alone and it's nice that we actually have this privacy curtain so all the songbirds can be in here we will obviously have the ac running and even a fan if we need it and nitro our little kitten's old house conveniently fits right here by the way nitro went to an amazing home and i'm going to show you guys a little clip of that right now and Lamar from Prairie Creek Ponds actually adopted him for his daughter. And now he has a very loving home. We also have all these heaters and tons of supplies. Hard enclosure at the bottom. This is perfect. And we can always give a little bit of privacy to this creature whenever we need it. And we have a soft enclosure for an animal that's a little dingus that's maybe injured. And we can give him some privacy if we need it as well. That's marvelous. And like I said, we also have a bathroom for washing the animals off. And this little sink. And this little sink here. This little workbench bench right here and of course a microwave to heat up bottle and now i just need to clean all this mess <gasps> precious little claffy blaffies getting right in this pool to make a dookie i am kind of afraid that queen will get into all of this trash because there's a lot of nasty stuff in here but there's also a lot of nice stuff that i need to save and whoa was that master ugwe such a precious little man good morning master ugwe how are you today sir all this man does is just wander around and eat grass. Queen loves this little fella. She used to wonder if she could eat him. But I can't let Poggers and Queen around baby Master Ugways or else they'll just treat them like chew toys. It's really hard to train them not to eat tortoises. Whoa, is that big ounce? Look at this, Queen. Wow. Oh, don't lick that. That's nasty. All right, everybody. It's decided. Bigger 10 ounce or 10. This is ounce and cringe will now be living in here in our barn. Look at them kissing each other. This is their first reunion in a long time. And these two are bonded. Well, well, take a look at this. Two old friends getting back at it again. Poggers was raised around this Kevin boy, so he knows how to fend them all. He knows when Kevin's all bark and when Kevin's all bite. But Poggers would never seriously injure Kevin, but he does know how to bite him into submission. Matter of fact, I actually genuinely think that Poggers thinks that Kevin is just another type of dog. Come on, Poggers, let's go. But I'm bringing Poggers in here with me so he can protect. P Poggers, please protect me. Protect me, Poggers. <laughs> Poggers isn't really much help at all now that I think about it. Poggers! Poggers! Come here, buddy. Protect me. Poggers! Protect me, bro. Come on. What are you doing? You're worthless. Notice how when Poggers ran over, Kevin walked off. Hmm, this water sure looks safe to drink. Don't drink that, buddy. We got a better pond right over there. Come on. Well, hello. Is that Kevin? <laughs> No, I'm not doing this today, Kevin. I'm not okay, I do not see any babies following this mama around. Come on, buddy. Yeah, look at that. Look how good he is at hopping that fence. Okay, I just turned the fountain back on. What do you guys think of this? What do you think, Poggers? It's a little pond. This is way safer for you to drink. Infinitely safer, sir. Poggers, what are you chewing on? But look at this, guys. I'm letting the prairie dogs out to take a look at the water. Oh, somebody went for a little swim. <laughs> wow, they're actually surprisingly good swimmer. Look at her go. Okay, I have my assistant keeping an eye on those guys this pond is still very full even though we don't even have a liner here pretty soon i'm gonna cast net this and move all the fish into the big pond look at these eggs that one can still be hatched okay guys i think i'm gonna have big outs in here for a little while longer 
Look at this boy with the light shining on his face. And in the meantime, I'm going to practice having him in here and taking him outside with me every time I go out there. The goal eventually, I think, will be to get Big Ounce and the other prairie dogs used to this property. And once they know where everything is, including the pond and everything else, maybe, just maybe, Big Ounce and the other prairie dogs can be free range full time here. But while this little fella's in my house and I already have all these nasty carpets in here and they're already peeing in here nonstop, I think I'm going to have one last hurrah in here and spend the next little while until my house is finished living amongst these cringe ah uh ah -uh creatures. But I am going to go ahead and move this little Gustavo boy outside into a more secure enclosure because I don't want these little fellas to co-mingle at all. Because we all know that Big Ounce would just eat this man. Look how precious he is. And wow, look at all these flies, guys. Isn't this nice? Isn't it lovely to share a home with all these flies? Also today, I was driving to Crawford where George Bush lives to go to this waterfall. And I saw a little half acre high fence lot with 50 of these guys. It was just a bunch of little Patrick Batemans all in one tiny little, not even an acre Lot. It's crazy that even people close by are farming these boys to hunt. But all right, everybody, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, almost forgot to tell you. Monumental win right here. Big Ounce literally just taught this little man how to eat. And we are slowly weaning him off the milk.